Okay, here's your challenge for the day. What are we making with this? Let's see if you can figure it out as we go along the project. What we have is four two by sixes, four two by fours, and two two by twos. A miter saw, a drill, some screws, and what else do we have? A drill, oh, we have a circular saw too just in case we need it, but don't think we will. So let's go from here and see what we're making today. Oh, and just a hint, if it turns out good, then it will be for Jonathan. What's the length of the first cut you're gonna make on the two by fours? 22 and a quarter. 22 and a quarter. Four of them, is that correct? Okay, so I'm gonna cut four at 22. Now we need six, two by six, 28 and a half inch. I'm gonna use the speed square to make sure that the line is straight and that's why we're using the table saw to make straighter cuts. It's a miter saw, not a table saw, a miter saw. We must use correct terminology. Okay, now it's gonna be two, two by four, 31 and a half cuts. So we're gonna do that. By six, 25 inch. 25 inch, okay. So Four, now two we're going to do oh, yeah, two okay. two by four cuts at 25 inches. So two two by four at 25 inches. Okay, so now we're going to cut two 25 and a half two by twos. So two by twos, 25 and a half, okay. two times. Now we're going to cut five two by four. Okay, so 25 there's inches. all the cut pieces. Can you tell yet what it is? Okay, Ronnie is measuring, so we can mark where we want the screws to go, so I guess so that they're the same on all of them. Yeah, just try to make it uniform. Okay. quarter inch separation in between this board and this board and this board and this board. All right, so there's one piece of it put together. Now we shall do another one just like it. Okay, so there's side two. Moving on. What are we going to do? We need to do now, excuse the movement. We are going to attach this 31 inch piece to the top of the section that we just put together. And we did a pretty good job cutting that because it matches up perfectly on each end. We're going to glue it okay, and so then the glue on the ends and ran it all the way down. Now we're deciding on where we used uh, self-tapping screws. So, but the one piece on the one end kind of almost split, so we got a little concerned. So we're going to go ahead and pre-drill the holes on this one, so we don't have that happen. Starting again. to take a shape now, and now we're going to flip it over so we can put one more two by six down in the back. Or I'm doing one more, or two more. Okay, because it said four if you can. Okay, no, anyway, we'll go from there. So, One start minute. to take shape. So now yes, we're yep, putting we the last of the two by sixes in place. And I'm gonna free drill the holes, just like we did in the back, just to be sure. Now we're putting one of the two by fours in place in the back, and uh, to finish that off. Back piece. Well, we actually we thought we missed putting that in, but no, it wasn't time to put it in yet. We were supposed to put the front piece in here first. So, starting to take shape. Okay, Can you so tell what it is yet? The last five of the two by fours, and we're going to screw them, attach them into the bottom. Yeah, just like that. So can you tell what it is? <laughs> it's a chair for King Louie. It will look better once we have cushions on. Yeah, we once get that it's sanded well, down. it's going to be sanded and stained and it's going to look better, but there we go. We have a new chair for King Louie. 
and I'm going to sand the bottom of it and then put those uh, like pleat those so you can scoot it along and it won't scratch up the floor and stuff. We made it from some plans at AnnaWhite.com. Yes, and I'll put it down in the description www.annawhite.com, I think. So. Yeah, it's Anna, A N A white.com. And the plans are called Modern Outdoor Chair from 2x4s and 2x6s. That's what it's called. Okay, so, so today what I did is um, I gave it initial like um, light sanding and then I went back and I filled all the little screw holes with the um, oh, putty, the wood putty, and it's stainable wood putty. So as you'll see, I, I did them all, and then I waited. It said to wait 15 minutes before um, sanding it to two hours. I waited about two hours just because, you know, as usual, I got busy doing other stuff. So um, I went back and I sanded them so they're all nice and smooth. And then um, I think we're gonna paint it um, kind of a cedar color because he's uh, partial to red, and I figure that way it'll have some red in it, but still be a wood tone. So we sanded down all the slats to make sure nothing gets caught. And what I did is when I sanded, I went ahead and I rounded the edges on it. And I just used a, a hand sander. And uh, I made it so it was smooth connecting, but all, I don't know if you can tell it. So in all along here, I went ahead and I rounded it up so we don't have any sharp edges at all. Staining is the last thing. <laughs> 